Hey guys, I do the DC jack repair on Dell and Spron's for $69 parts and labor at PCRepairHelp.net. And today I'm working on another Dell and Spron laptop. This has got a really loose connection where you plug it in. It's actually a physically broken piece of plastic where that plug-in goes. And you'll see a picture of that when I take it out. And like all these Dells, you got to remove the bottom panel first usually. Those top three screws don't come out at all. And this one just has the classic wiggle it to make it work, you know, physically broken connection where you plug in the power cord. And the next step usually is to find some kind of groove in the bottom. You can get your pry tool in between. I prefer to use a guitar pick, but whatever pry tool you're comfortable with and it needs to be pretty thin will work just fine. And once you get that popped up on one side and get it started, you can kind of go around and keep finishing off, prying up the bottom. Now once you have that bottom panel removed, the first thing you want to do is detach the battery. You just want to make sure that there's no power to the laptop just in case. So on any computer you're working on, make sure you get that battery detached first. Uh, the next step on this one is to remove the hinge screws. The hinge is over the jack itself, so it, the screws need to be removed so you can pry the hinge up and have access to the jack. So once those screws are removed, you can just lift up on that hinge. And here I'm just unrouting the wireless leads. They're kind of in the way of the jack. And this just simply unplugs from the motherboard, the power jack, and you can unroute that cable. And then there's a single screw that's holding the jack into place. So you remove that screw and you can take out the old broken DC jack. So now that it's unplugged and that screw removed, you can see that it's just physically damage. There should be a nice plastic barrel there and you just see the underlying pins exposed where that barrel used to be. So that one was more than likely tripped over or dropped or something. Some kind of force had to break that jack. So now I'm going to plug in the new replacement DC jack. Just plug it in the same way as it went before. And then when you reroute that jack, you can screw the jack down into place with that single screw. And next, just want to reroute those cables back the way they were. It's always good to make sure those cables get proper, properly rerouted just so that something doesn't clamp down on a wire and screw through a wire or something pinches a wire. You want to have it nice and routed properly so everything can fit back together. So now that's done, you can just put that hinge back down and screw it back into place.
and plug the battery back in. And then you can get that bottom panel back on and screw everything back down together. I like to go over the edge of the bottom panel with my fingers just to make sure that things snapped on there correctly. Make sure I get all those tabs snapped in right. See now you can see that Jack is, has that barrel back. Um, definitely took some took a hit there. As you can see, that casing is broken. So now I'm going to plug this thing in. See if it powers up. And there we go, we got the charge light coming on. Everything looks good. The laptop's getting power again. And after I press the power button, the screen should come on here. And there we go. Another successful Dell and Spron repair. If you guys have any questions, you can leave it down in the comments, shoot us an email, give me a phone call. If the video helped you out, try to give it a like. Thanks for watching, guys.